I love this gospel passage that we're given today from Matthew's gospel because I think that this Canaanite woman who comes to Jesus demonstrates for us an important attitude to have as we approach the Lord seeking his grace, seeking his mercy, seeking the good things that we desire from him. She's confident and she's persistent. She's confident in coming before the Lord and very frankly and boldly telling him what she wants and what she needs. And even in the face of seeming rejection, first by silence, then by uh, trying to send her away, and then even by receiving this kind of rebuke and essentially calling her a dog. In the midst of all of that, she persists confidently in coming to Jesus and saying, Lord, give me this good thing. Deliver my daughter from this demon. But I think the real lesson in this Canaanite woman's story comes when we look at the reason why she's so confident and persistent in her coming to the Lord. And the reason why she's so confident and persistent in coming to the Lord, we know from Jesus, is her faith. But that faith of this woman leads her to put her trust and confidence not in her own deservedness or her own worthiness to receive the good things that the Lord is giving her, but it's confidence in his goodness. I think on some human level, it would have made sense to us if after this last kind of rebuke from the Lord, when he says it's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs, it would have at least on some human level made sense to us for her to respond and say something like, how dare you speak to me that way? I'm a human being and I deserve good things from you just as much as anyone else. But that was not her response. Rather, she appealed to the goodness of Jesus. She didn't appeal to her own worthiness. She didn't appeal to her own deservedness. But she recognized in Jesus, God. And she recognized in God, goodness. And in his goodness, a desire for our good. And that is what she consistently, persistently reminded the Lord of over and over again. That is faith. That is what it means to have confidence in the Lord. Not to have confidence in ourselves, but to have confidence in him. And this is good news, right? Because I think every single one of us, without a whole lot of effort, could probably in our minds right now, list off all of the reasons why we don't deserve good things from the Lord. We are all aware of our weaknesses. We're all aware of our failures. We're all aware of our sins, our faults. We're aware of the things that we have done by our own free will to reject the Lord and to say, I don't deserve your love. I don't deserve the good gifts that you want to give me. I don't deserve any of that. And there's a temptation to allow that reality, to allow that recognition of our own unworthiness to keep us from coming to the Lord. And we say to ourselves, one day, I will be perfect. 
One day, I will have done all of the necessary work and I'll have put, on, put in all the necessary effort and I'll have done all of the things and I'll be disciplined and I'll be finally free from sin. And then, having earned it, having come to deserve God's love, then I can come to him. And I can say, here I am, Lord, your perfect gift, right? But that's not how it works, right? As we know, it's God's love that makes us worthy of his love. We come to him unworthy. We come to him undeserving. We come to him full of sin, full of weakness, full of failure. Or perhaps more accurately and more importantly, he comes to us when we are full of sin, full of weakness, full of failure. And he loves us in the midst of our weakness and our sin and our failure. And so in faith, let us entrust ourselves to him. Let us allow his love to come to us here in the sacrament, in our everyday life, in our life of prayer, everywhere we go. Let us place our confidence in him. Let us place all of our faith in his love for us so that that love can encounter us where we are and transform us. And it can change our lives, can make us into saints. It can help us to find the fulfillment that we seek every time we do anything. And finding our fulfillment in him, we can be truly happy for all eternity in heaven.